Hello, hi, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of, I was going to say Inglorious Bastards. That's, a, that's something completely different. That's a Quentin Tarantino film. No, uh, Ingenious Devices. Uh, this glorious record, very, very kindly donated to me uh, by Philip. And uh, we are now moving on to side two. This is the Book of Ingenious Devices and Brooklands. Um, so we have one teeny tiny little short song at the front. And then uh, Brooklands itself is a much longer piece. I don't know if it says on here how long they are. It doesn't. But I, th I think it's actually on the, on the label on the record, which is spinning over there. So I can't tell you. But it's about another 15, 16 minutes of music. Um, yeah, I think we said all sorts of stuff about this yesterday, and I think the best thing to do is to just get on and listen to it. Very driving bass line. Something a little bit Chris Squire about that.
really like that. The uh, pizzicato strings. Bom, 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 bom. Really nice. This reminds me a little bit of Elbow. I didn't expect her to be saying that. That might be a band we ought to be listening to on the channel, actually. A lovely voice. Had a lovely voice. Oh. in um, 10.8 well that bit was
right. Twelve and a half minutes of Brooklyn's and a minute and something of the one before that book of ingenious devices. Well, I have to say, having come to this completely blind, this album, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. It is so quintessentially English. It just sounds so English. And it really does hark back to the golden days of the 1970s um, English prog. It sounds like Genesis, and it sound he really does have uh, a very sort of um, Peter Gabriel esque voice, uh, but it has all the it has that sort of yes symphonic ambition as well, and the with the Genesis kind of story, well, maybe not the Genesis storytelling because it's this is more about sort of it's almost like a Marillion type of uh, storytelling, but it has. It sounds a bit like Genesis, sounds a bit like Yes. Maybe they've also got flute in there, so it could be a bit Jeffro Tully. Um, but it's... I don't know, It's just it just really does uh, hark back to that amazing golden period of time when you try to make some of the most ambitious music possible, not just trying to make uh, a few quick-minute pop songs, three-minute pop songs... <laughs> This is music about telling a story, about taking time to, to, to unfold and to sort of, ex and to sort of bring nuance and and um, just let it gradually evolve and grow into 
something quite spectacular. This is wonderful. I really do need to go back and try and find the original uh, recordings of these. Um, I've got two CDs so far, which I have obtained in the last uh, month or so, which are English Electric and English Electric 2. Um, so I know that the track we listened to yesterday, um, East Coast Racer, is on there, on one of those two. Uh, but I don't know about the rest of these. I need to, I need to investigate that a bit more. But uh, we'll certainly be coming back to uh, more big, big train in the future. Um, I mean, we will certainly be coming back to it very soon because we've got another two sides of music to listen to yet on this album. Um, this is brilliant, really brilliant. Um, I hope you are enjoying it, and if not, don't worry. Something else will be along soon. Um, and that's kind of it. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over and out. Out.